What's up guys? We're back at Jones Subwoofer Solutions. Got another Team Pi amp. This is the JSS 7500 point one so big I can barely fit it in frame so this is made by team Pi. this is the team Pi 7500 told you guys I had more so here we go drop your guesses below let me know what you guys think this will do it is the team Pi 7500 built for Jones subwoofer solutions it's rated 7500 watts at 1 ohm and we'll see if it does that so hang on tight Catch you on the dyno, we'll get to work on this. Alright guys, here we are on the dyno. If you haven't dropped a guess yet, go ahead and drop a guess. If you haven't subscribed, please, please hit the subscribe button. And we are ready to run this 7500. We're going to start with certified runs, then we'll do uncertified runs, and then we'll finish with the, the dynamic runs. And we'll start with 4 ohm, then do 2 ohm, then 1 ohm. So to kick it off, we'll get right into certified and 4 ohm. Again, I don't have any ratings on this uh, other than the 7500 watts at 1 ohm. So we'll see what this does at 4. I do have my chargers on today. We're at 15.1 volts. Here we go. Certified 4 ohms. We got 2,251 watts, dropped to 15 volts. And we will continue with a two ohm run. And we'll see what this does at two ohms. We're at 15.1 volts. Here we go, Team Pi 7500 at two ohms. Not bad, we got 4,370 watts. Dropped to 14.8 volts. And finally, we'll do the one ohm run. This is rated 7,500 watts. Here we go. Starting at 15.1 volts. And we got 8,817 watts into one ohm. We dropped to 14.5 volts. So definitely kicking out some power at one ohm. Uh, we will continue here. We'll go to uncertified. Uncertified is the exact same as certified. Only the dyno will keep reading even if there's more than 1% distortion. So again, we're going to start at four ohms. We're at 15.2 volts starting. Here we go. And we got 2,500 watts, 2,539 watts into four ohms. We dropped to 14.9 volts. And we will go back and do two ohm uncertified starting at 15.1 volts. I did just shut my chargers off. Didn't want to get too high. Here we go. And we got 4,887 watts into two ohms. Dropped to 14.7 volts. Not bad at all. 1 ohm uncertified, this will be up to clipping, We're starting at 15 volts. Here we go. Again rated 7500 watts. And we got 8,892 watts, dropped to 14.4 volts. So consistent and very nice performance out of this. So we will continue now. I'll go back and we'll run the dynamic tests. Dynamic are a 40 hertz 
pulse tone or burst. Some amps will do a lot more power on these burst tracks. We're going to start at 4 ohms. And here we go, we're at 15.1 volts. And we see 2,622 watts into 4 ohms, dropping to 14.9 volts. Not bad at all. 2 ohms. We're at 15 volts again. Here we go. Over 5,000 watts. Get 5,175 watts into 2 ohms, we drop to 14.6 volts, again very strong, and we will finish here with a 1 ohm dynamic test, we're at 15 volts flat, here we go, crazy power out of this thing. We got 9,793 watts into one ohm, we dropped to 14 and a half volts. So crazy performance out of this, if you ask me. Let me know what you guys think. Please drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of this amp, if I should get more of them. And uh, hang on tight, we'll put up the performance review and I'll catch you back on the bench. All right, guys, we're back on the bench. I've got the back plate off, and we can get a look inside this huge amp, the Team Pie 7500. So we've got, it looks like 200 volt, 105 degree caps. You guys can see those there. Pretty clean looking. If you'll hang on one sec, we'll get a look at the end caps. Alright guys, we're back. This one's so heavy, I'm not picking it up, so forgive me. Uh, you can see here, starting on the left, we've got our Tiffany style RCAs, inputs and outputs. Power and protect light, our gain knob, has a high pass or subsonic filter from 10 to 50 hertz, has a 0 to 9 dB bass boost. There's the plug for your remote cable, the base remote. Has a low pass filter from 35 to 250 hertz. Phase switch from zero to 180. This is strappable like the 5500. So you've got your master and slave switch there and the slave RCA output. And then you've got roughly eight gauge speaker outputs. We use 10 gauge here, but you could probably fit eight gauge in there. That is a look at this end of it. If you want to hang on one sec, I will turn this thing around and we can look at the power inputs. All right, we're back. This is the end with the uh, power inputs. You can see it is triple inputs. Those are roughly two watt power and ground with an oversized remote. And it does have two remotes. One is for a pass through if you're powering multiple amps. All right, guys, I got this thing flipped back over. So that is it for the JSS 7500 made by Team Pi. And one last thing, it does come with these nice base knobs with power, protect light, and temperature. Uh, branded JSS, of course. 
That logo is straight. Someone said it was crooked last time. That is straight. So there you have it, the JSS 7500. Let me know what you guys think of that. I myself was pretty impressed. You guys will be able to find these on the Jones Subwoofer Solutions webpage in a few days. And they'll probably be posted by the time you guys see this, uh, as well as the other amps. And we've got a few more from Team Pie coming, so stay tuned. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Please give me a like and hit the bell so that you know when we post a new video. And I appreciate you all. We'll see you next time.